Hey guys, this is your girl Jennifer Lynn, the crown jewel, and I am back with another YouTube video. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So I just wanted to do this quick video real quick to um, be of encouragement to women out there who are waiting for their kingdom husband. Um, a lot of women and I'll say specifically black women, um, they feel like there's not any good men out here. They feel like there is no good black men out here if you are someone that's into black love. And so I want to tell you guys to hang in there because God is really doing a thing with these men. And before you know it, you're going to have your kingdom husband. So I just wanted to share um, a testimony with you guys. So a few days ago, um, the weather was bad. It was snowing. It was really cold outside. And so usually on um, Saturdays, I have to go um, to class. And so class was canceled from um, the on-site uh school that I go to. They canceled it and they decided to have class on Zoom. So I got to, you know, be able to stay in. I kind of enjoyed not really um, having to go out because like I said, the weather wasn't the greatest and it was cold outside. And so I'm logged on to my class. And so I hear something at my door. I hear, first of all, I hear shoveling outside and then I hear something knocking up against my door. And so I go to the door and there is a black man that I do not know from Adam that is shoveling my snow outside my house. And so I was like, oh my God, well, one, it was a blessing because I did not want to have to get out there and shovel, but I did not notice, man. And so I felt like God was showing me in that moment that this is what my husband is going to be doing while I am working on other things and taking care of business. He's going to be doing all the things that I do not like doing, like shoveling snow, cutting grass. Um, you know, uh, keeping up the maintenance in the home. Now, a lot of things I don't do, I pay people for because, of course, I am not married. And so um, I don't want to have to pay anyone. I want my husband to be able to do these things. I mean, it's not, it's okay to pay people for some things, but if it comes down to me having to do it, I would prefer having my husband um, take on that task. And so sometimes I pay people to shovel and sometimes I get out there and shovel. But uh, this was a prayer of mine. Lord, allow me to have it to where my husband will be able to take on these different tasks and take care of the maintenance of the home. And so, like I said, I felt like that was God showing me in, in that moment that this is what your husband is going to be doing. But it was such a blessing to have a black man that I did not, I don't know why this man, <laughs> um, I don't know if he knew someone next door. I couldn't even open the door to say thank you or say, who are you? Because I was in the middle of a class. And a lot of times the instructor, they like to randomly called people. So of course, by the time the class was over with, the man was gone. But that was just, like I said, it was almost like a, a blessing in disguise to have this man just, he just decided to shovel all of my, the, the front of my home. And like I said, um, I just want women to not give up on men. I want women to not give up on black men because there are a lot of good black men out here. This is not really a video about color, but I do have to say that there are a lot of good men, black men out here because um, black men have a bad reputation a lot of times. And I think it's because so many black men 
they have let their um, families down. They've let their kids down. They've done all these different things, but that's not every black man's story. And like I said, God is doing a work in these men where he is turning things around. So it's important for us to have a forgiving heart if, you know, um, you know, you know, even if it's just a black man in your family, um, everyone has done wrong in their life. You know, even you've done wrong, I've done wrong, and we have had to go back and apologize and uh, provide an act of correction. So just how God has given us grace and mercy and forgiven us for these things, we have to be able to do the same thing with our men. And like I said, even specifically for black men, because I feel like in a sense, there's a target on the black man's back where uh, people just, you know, they want to put all black men in in one box, you know, and like I said, even though some black men ha may have done wrong, they are gonna, a lot of them, there are, God is doing a work in them, he's correcting them, and so these men are gonna be new men, but how awesome was that a black man that I did not even know just decided to shovel my snow on a day that I was busy, I did not wanna get out there and do it, but like I said, this is God showing me one, your husband is coming So Two, this is what your husband is going to be doing. So I just want all the women out there that are believing God for marriage. You're believing God for a husband. You may even be believing God for, um, you know, black love. I'm someone, I'm very big on black love and it's not about color or anything like that because love comes in every color um but god has already told told me who my husband was and so he is african-american so i'm big on black love um hopefully no one takes that the wrong way but um you know god is doing it guys so i want you guys to stay encouraged like I said, if you are believing for a husband, if you're believing God has already shown you that you have a black king out there, even if you know who he is, do not give up on our men. Do not give up on our black men. God is doing a new thing. He's doing it for you. And he is uncovering your love story piece by piece. So this is your girl, Jennifer Lynn, the crown jewel. And I will talk with you guys next time.